Uh, hello, uh, this is Amar Jyot Singh in Edmonton, and uh, I'm uh, happy to welcome Mr. Andy Simulchuk. He's a Canadian immigration lawyer from whom I actually learned immigration. He's also licensed in the U.S. He has an office in New York, and he's also in, in Toronto. So I'm uh, greatly fortunate to have him here. Uh, so anybody who wants to ask any question, Andy is here. Uh, Andy specializes in, I know from his past uh, interest, in especially spousal applications, marriage visas is a favorite uh, one of those. Intra-company transfer visas, if you're in India or Pakistan or some other country and you want to uh, you want to, you know, open an office in the U.S., maybe on a, an intra-company or a EB-5 or any, any, anything uh, that you are looking at investing your money and hoping that will lead to immigration or long-term visa in U.S. or Canada, Andy is the right man. I have only two people uh, joining in. They are watching my show. There are four people watching. Guys, uh, okay. welcome again. Andy Simuchuk is my guest, and uh, Andy will take any questions that you have, especially for U.S. Of course, he's, he can also answer about uh, Canada. Andy, say hello to these guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really happy to be on your uh, connection here. I'd be happy to talk to people. Um, if there are some questions, um, perhaps they can post them and you could uh, read them or somehow. Uh, yes. There's one yes. here. How are That's you right. from Mr. Yeah. I, I'm posting these questions on the screen, actually. Mr. Kamar Khan, says hello to you. How are you, sir? Do you see the screen on the screen? Yes, a question. Yes, yeah. yes. Kamar, Kamar Khan is asking. Kamar Khan, if you have any question, you can go ahead and ask uh, ask your question. Let's uh, get to the question. Uh, I've got uh, we'll see Malik also. Hello, Andy and Amarjot also on the, on the show. Vasik Javed Chima. Vasik Javed Chima, what's your question? Uh, your question is, what are the some of the what what are major red flags in spousal sponsorship? Gosh, <laughs> Vasik, this is a long question. I mean, do you have anything specific? This is like starting starting the history of the world. I mean, come on, where do we start? Yeah, Gary, go ahead. But, uh, a few red flags. A uh, uh, great big difference between ages, uh, different languages, cultures, uh, religions, uh, okay. previous immigration problems of either one, any criminality. Uh, for either party, um, uh, how, uh, not much in the way of common uh, interests, not having much time together. These are some major red flags. That's right. That's right. He's absolutely right. Vasik uh, Javed, uh, I mean, do you have an application under progress? Or are you looking to do an uh, application? I'm just interested to know how did you nail down on this question? Because in immigration, there's something called bona fide. Uh, you know, it's called proof of relationship. So the reason of immigration sponsorship through spouse or common law application is supposed to be for the purpose of the relationship, not on the purpose of immigration itself. So they look at you know how the couple, uh, both husband and wife, are connected to each other, how are they interdependent, what is uh, how they have combined their lives together, and so forth. So so that's how they assess. But I think if you have any specific thing in your mind, then you can come forth, and then uh, he can he can address those. Questions I've got, I think he's asking this question. Who is this? Kamar Khan, are you asking uh, this question? Let me just bring this question on the screen. That's a long question, Kamar. What are you asking? Gosh, uh, I'm an operating group technician. I have nine years experience in same field, present working Saudi by nationality, 29 years working in good option to move to Canada. Really want to, of course. Kamar Khan, Andy, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Khan wants to yeah, ask a question. It sounds like uh, if you're 29 years old, I don't know if you have a master's degree, perhaps no operating room technician. So you're a uh, Technical guy, nine yeah. years experience in the field. Possibly express entry. I uh, don't know how good your English is. If you've got really good English, uh, it still may be short on points. Uh, I wonder if your wife, if you're married, whether your wife might have similar credentials or higher. The ideal candidate is someone who's under 30 years old, has a master's degree, speaks English really, really well and has worked for at least one year overseas in a specialty area. You look like someone similar to that, but I think you may be short in terms of education. So in your instance, um, I'm thinking, uh, first of all, about a wife, if maybe the wife might have credentials that are a little better. Uh, or uh, this is probably something Amarjad might have uh, some yeah. room or thought about. I can, uh, uh, Kamar Khan, I'll get to the point, actually, you know, the thing is that you are an operating room technician. Most likely you are in Canada, what is called a tradesman, like a journeyman, 
So these jobs are regulated. They require a license invariably all across Canada. We can check it out. Maybe in some provinces it's optional, but more or less you need either a journey person a certificate, which is like a red seal or a job offer from an employer. Only then you can enter the federal express entry. All right. So I hope you understand. Uh, you know, you can check out on Google type journeyman. You will see what a journeyman a red seal is and so you get an idea. So in short, you need a job offer. If you're not a journeyman, you need a job offer to enter Express Entry. I, unfortunately, that's the truth. Uh, let's move on to the second question. Uh, what's his name? Vas, uh, let me just put this on the screen. Uh, Mr. Chima, who was uh -huh. asking a question about, uh, I think guys on the screen now or not. Let me see. I've got, uh, okay, just a minute. There's a little, uh, I've got many questions here. Uh, uh -huh. Let's see what, what is this guy asking? Surajit Ghosh. Sir, I have 12 years experience in accounts from India. I'm 33 wants to move to Canada. So please, uh, I'm very, of course, you're Surajit. Your <laughs> express entry is the right thing. Go to go to Google, type express entry, go to CIC, look at to check out the points. Or there are many videos I have on YouTube. Check out your points, and that's all you have to do. You need uh, close to 440 plus right now to get a cutoff from invitation. From with less than that, you are you know probably in, in, in limbo. You'll be waiting. So that's that's the reality. So it's the competition of the talent all over the world. Uh, so that's what it is. Uh, who else is asking question? Anirudh Salvi, is for, there scope for supervisor? What do you mean, Anirudh supervisor? Uh, scope, what do you mean? There's scope for everybody. Uh, first, get the PR uh, through Express Entry, come here, and then find a job. There's scope for anybody who's willing to work hard in Canada. Supervisor might mean manager, possibly. If it's manager, that might uh, bode well for you. Uh, possibly intercorporate transferee there. That's right. That's right. That's right. So uh, Vasik Javed Chima, the guy who was actually asking question about spousal thing, I think he just uh, posted something. My sister just submitted a sponsorship yeah. application. My sister is sponsored. That's why I was interested. I'm just trying to understand. Sister is sponsoring who? The husband in Canada and sponsoring someone from overseas is uh, how I that's, read the question. That's right. That's right. I'm just was any hint on, on uh, what the problem is. But let me just say this, this has been a test run. And unfortunately, I'm unable to continue much longer because I have some pressing matters uh, that I just came up. But let's try this again, uh, perhaps in a week's time or even sooner. Um, you and I, Amarjad, can come up with a uh, suitable time. And let's give it a try on your, on your uh, feed. Um, to deal with the kind of questions that we're facing here or that we're getting here. That's uh, right. Here's one more. Let's deal with this last question. Okay, after last question. Last, last question. Vasik Javid Chima is saying, after getting selected under PNP and move and move uh, into province, can someone move to other province? I'll, Andy, I'll let you answer this question. Go ahead. Well, <laughs> after you've got your permanent residence status, in theory, getting the permanent resident status, you're coming to a specific province. To get the approvals, you're likely going to have to say something about living in that province. But once you have settled there, uh, the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms enables you to travel anywhere in Canada and work anywhere in Canada. Uh, the only thing about that is down the road when you're applying for citizenship, if the day after you got your permanent resident status, you left the province and went somewhere else, you might have some issues at the citizenship stage about what happened and what you did and whether there was possibly any fraud involved. But I suspect in most instances, uh, a reasonable move after coming in on a, pro a provincial nominee certificate will not result in any trouble and you'll be able to move anywhere. So that's it for me on this particular uh, uh, interview. But let's set something up. I, I apologize to you, Amarjot, that I can't do more yeah. today. But uh, let's do it again, let's say, in a few days and uh, see if we can. We'll spend more time, let's say, half hour or something okay. on, on this, okay? No problem. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining. Take okay. Take care. So, guys, um, I don't know if I'm still on, uh, on my own. Uh, just, uh, just type yes or no if you can hear me. I think uh, my guest has has to go. Uh, I'll try to invite him next time. He's a Canadian immigration lawyer based in Toronto. 
but I want to see if uh, I can answer one last question and then maybe we'll run out uh, of time. Uh, let's see, what is this question? Kamar Khan. Uh, Kamar Khan is asking, what should I do if someone uh, says you don't need a Java? You can press with a two years diploma. So Kamar Khan, you have to look at the points on expressivity, brother. That's all you can do. I mean, there's nothing much, uh, uh, there's nothing much anybody can do, uh, like me, or you know, immigration lawyer can do. I mean, you can find a job and then, and then we can go from there. Uh, that's all, that's the, it's, it's all the points came, all right? So Vasik Chavit, Chika. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Any 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 other question, guys? Uh, I, I can I can spend more time there. If you have any unique questions, then you can ask me those questions and I can go from there. But uh, I make a lot of videos in um, on YouTube and you can um, you know you can see some videos about different topics as well. Surajit Kosh, uh, what is the question? Surajit Kosh, you are asking. Let's see one more query. I'm asking the MBA to finance twelve years experience. IELTS is IELTS is always required, Surajit Ghosh. If you're going to express entry, IELTS is required. Just go Hindi mein bolte hain IELTS ke bina patta bhi nahi hilta. IELTS to karna hi padega. Chahe koi bhi ho, IELTS is mandatory for all, even Americans and British and anybody who's applying for express entry to Canada. Everybody has to take IELTS. I hope. You understand this, all right. Uh, who else is asking questions? Um, there was a question that somebody asked me earlier in the morning today about uh, somebody who was coming from uh, from a different country as a visitor visa in Canada. And then they are looking to apply for a study and then a study visa, study permit in Canada. And I, and I made better, many videos about this. I will say this one more time. Uh, there are a few challenges in converting the visitor visa into study permit because uh, the number one problem is when you fill up the application for visitor visa, then at that point you are saying, oh, visa officer, I'm just going there for a few weeks or a few days, a few months, and then I'll come back and I have good business, a good job in India, and then uh, then I'll come back. And all of a sudden, when you arrive in Toronto and you say, oh, look, I have a job offer or I have a study admission offer, and suddenly I'm no longer a visitor, I want to become a full-time student for one or two years. That creates a little immigration dilemma or immigration confusion in the visa officer's mind. What are you? Are you really a tourist or really a student? Were you hiding that you were a student earlier and then you were uh, hiding some other intentions? Now that's a problem. The second problem is you cannot apply this application directly on your own. You have to go to a lawyer because they have to use their own ID to an online application. An online application goes to US and where they are decided. So, you know, there's no guarantee it will be approved. Sometimes it is not, and then you have to return and then go back. Uh, next time you're coming, it's on your immigration history that you were applying for study permit and record refused. And that becomes a little complicated. I would prefer, I mean, somebody is willing to be patient. I would prefer that they get the study uh, offer from the college and they actually return to the India and then apply for study visa from them, uh, from, from that place. I think that is the ideal, but of course, the, this world is not ideal and that's how we do. All right, so who else is asking question? Kamar Khan, oh my God, the same question, Kamar Khan. Yes, we need job offer, Kamar Khan. PNP, most PNPs require a job offer, so I hope, uh, unfortunately, I can help you. Let's put some light on NOC codes. Vaseem Malik, NOC codes are uh, national occupation classification. How much light do you want me to put on light on this NOC? Uh, it is a code system by which they identify what occupations you want to apply on, like a work permit or a PR or express entry something, so they, they identify and match your experience with those experienced classification in our Canadian system. So that's called NOC core. Rajan Kumar, Sat Sri Akal. Hello, Rajan Kumar. Sat Sri Akal, where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? If there is any question, then tell us. The rest of the questions are like this, generally. I have a lot of calls that uh, have husband or wife already in Canada. और उनके पास स्टडी वीजा है उनके जो दूसरा स्पाउस है वो दूसरी कंट्री बैठा है तो वो कहते हैं कि जी हमें वीजा कैसे मिलेगा हमें वर्क वीजा मिलेगा या विस्टर वीजा मिलेगा या क्या मिलेगा समथिंग सो मैंने कई इसके वीडियोस ही बनाए हैं और दो तीन इसमें एग्जांपल भी डाले हैं दो दो के के जिनको वर्क वीजा मिला है डायरेक्टली न्यू दिल्ली से और वहीं से वर्क वीजा मिल सकता है जब उसको हम अप्लाई करेंगे तो यहां पर कहीं भी काम कर सकते हैं ओपन वर्क परमिट मेरे को डॉक्यूमेंट चाहिए उसके मैरिज सर्टिफिकेट चाहिए और आपके जो स्पाउस है इन कनाडा उसका स्टडी परमिट चाहिए तो हम उनका जो डिपेंडेंट स्पाउस का ओपन वर्क परमिट अप्लाई कर सकते हैं चाहे वो इंडिया से करें चाहे यहां से करें डस मैटर दोनों का काम हो जाएगा 
हाउ मच चांसेस इफ द एनओसी कोज नॉट इन डिमांड वसीम मलिक एनओसी कोड का ये शायद कुछ सवाल आप पहले भी मेरे से पूछ चुके हैं या कोई और पूछ चुका था कि डिमांड की कोई बात नहीं होती एक्सप्रेस एंट्री में सब कुछ डिमांड डिमांड है एक्सप्रेस एंट्री में सिर्फ कंपटीशन uh, है पॉइंट्स का डिमांड का ये नहीं है कि अगर आप डॉक्टर हैं तो दूसरा टीचर है डॉक्टर की ज्यादा डिमांड है तो आपका नंबर पहले आएगा टीचर का बाद नंबर आएगा ऐसा नहीं है सब कुछ डिमांड ही डिमांड में ऐसा कोई डिमांड इस इक्वल सब की है कमर खान बोल रहे हैं क्या बोल रहे हैं कमर खान जॉब ऑफर सर जी जॉब ऑफर मेरे को नहीं पता कैसे मिलेगा भाई आपको कॉन्टैक्ट करना पड़ेगा आपसे मैं पूछू की अगर इंडिया में या पाकिस्तान में कोई आप मेरे को बैठे बैठे यहाँ से जॉब दिला सकते हो मैं यहाँ पर कैनेडा में बैठा हूँ अगर मेरे को आपके मुल्क में काम करना है नौकरी करनी है तो मेरे को जॉब लेटर वहां से कौन देगा आप दिलवा सकते कोई और दिलवा सकता है नहीं मेरे को खुद अप्लाई करना पड़ेगा खुद रेजमेंट डालना पड़ेगा खुद इंटरव्यू लेना पड़ेगा और उसके बाद फिर वो जब असेस करेंगे जब उनको पसंद आएगा उनकी मेरी स्किल तब वो शायद जॉब ऑफर देंगे तो सारे ये पूरे पूरे ये प्रोसेस से गुजरना पड़ेगा पापड़ बेलने पड़ेंगे तब जाके जॉब ऑफर मिलेगा कैनेडा में भी वही है भाई अब कुछ एजेंटों ने धंधा बना लिया कि पैसे तो वो करो सब नकली काम है ठीक है किसी को मिलता नहीं है किसी का चलता नहीं चलता तो वो एक अलग बात है कमर खान और क्या बोल रहे हैं सर जी आप कोई और कोई सवाल है किसी का और कोई सवाल है कोई पूछने वाला कोई है तो मैंने फोन नंबर अपना लिख रखा शायद यहाँ पर तो फोन नंबर अगर आप कॉल कर सकते हैं अगर आप यूट्यूब पे अगर ये देख रहे हैं इसको वीडियो को तो यूट्यूब के इंट्रोडक्शन में अबाउट में मेरा आ, लिखा हुआ है फोन नंबर वाला ई भी लिखा हुआ है तो वहां से आप मेरे को कॉन्टेक्ट कर सकते हैं और कोई अगर सवाल किसी का नहीं है तो फिर गुड बाय करने का टाइम आ गया कि नहीं है कि वी शुड टेक अ ब्रेक और व्हाट डू डू आई गेस देयर इज नो मोर क्वेश्चन सो आई विल टेक अ ब्रेक नेक्स्ट टाइम आई विल इनवाइट एनी समुचक अगेन ही इज द कैनेडियन लॉयर फॉर द पास्ट आई थिंक क्लोज टू 40 इयर्स एंड ही इज वेरी प्रोमिनेंट ही इज अ गुड यू नो ही वाज इन एडमिंटन ऑलियर दैट्स व्हाई आई नो हिम एंड नाउ ही इज ही हैज हिज ओन ऑफिस इन टोरंटो एंड आल्सो इन न्यूयॉर्क and uh, he does all, both uh, canada and U- us applications both temporary and um, permanent all right aapne kya bola ye kamar khan ne bola hai ki thank you very much sir theek hai tan kamar khan aapko ho kahan se aap bhai kahan kahan se aap baat kar rahe hain kamar khan ne thank you kar diya wasim malik ne acha isko to kya hai kamar khan really help us theek hai वसीम मलिक क्या कह रहे हैं प्रोडिक्शन फॉर सी आर एस को सर जी प्रोडिक्शन मैं कोई नजूमी तो हो नहीं सर जी प्रोडिक्शन मैं नहीं कह सकता कि अगले महीने में एक दो पॉइंट ऊपर जाएगा नीचे जाएगा कहना बहुत मुश्किल है लोग तरह तरह की अटकलें लगाते हैं गूगल पे सब तरह की इधर उधर बोलते हैं कि ऊपर चला जाएगा जी यहाँ जाएगा इतना कोटा हो गया जी इतना हो जाएगा ये सब अटकले हैं सब ये वो है फ्यूचर की बातें हैं ये मेरे को पता नहीं फ्यूचर की बातें मैं तो सिर्फ लॉ में डील करता हूँ अगर कोई लीगल प्रॉब्लम है तो उसके बारे में हम बात कर सकते हैं फ्यूचर फॉर्चून टेलिंग हमारे पास की बात नहीं है भाई साहब ठीक है थैंक यू वेरी मच बॉस वसीम मलिक के उससे लास्ट कमेंट से हम बात खत्म करते हैं और टॉक यू लेटर ऑल थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर